Hi. Now in this example, which is quite typical of questions, it might ask you to show that x minus 1 is a factor of a particular polynomial. In this case, 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus x plus 2. And to do this, there's two ways. But what I would recommend, first of all, is that you do it by the factor theorem, which is up here. And that is, if we've got a polynomial, f of x, then if x minus p is to be a factor of f of x, f of p should equal 0. And it's this line here that I'm basically going to use to show that x minus 1 is a factor. There is another way, and that's by algebraic long division. I'll show you both ways, but I would certainly recommend my first method. But first of all, what I'm going to say is I'm going to define f of x. I'm going to say let f of x be identical to what we have here. And I would encourage you to do much the same kind of thing if you get an expression and it hasn't been labelled f of x. So let f of x be identical to that. Now using the factor theorem, if I choose x to be 1, that will make this 0. Okay, we just try f of 1. What I'm hoping for is that this comes out to 0. So we substitute the 1 in for x. So we've got 2 times 1 cubed minus 3 times 1 squared minus 1 plus 2. And I'd always show the working. All right. And what does this come to? Well, 1 cubed is 1. So that's going to be 2 times 1 is 2. 1 squared is 1. Then we've got times by the minus 3. So that's going to be minus 3. Then you have minus 1 and then plus 2. And you can see that what we've got here is 2 plus that 2 there is 4. Take away 4 here is 0. So therefore by the factor theorem, let's just say that, by the factor theorem, okay, x minus 1 is a factor. And that would be sufficient to show that x minus 1 is a factor of that expression. Now I did say that there was another way and that is by algebraic long division. And if we are to divide x minus 1 into this polynomial 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus x plus 2, if we divide it in here, what we're expecting, if it's a factor, is no remainder. And that's what I'm going to show you by doing this algebraic division. If you're not sure about a algebraic division, just go on my website on the tutorial index and look under algebraic division and you should find it there. All right. Or if you're viewing this tutorial on one of my pages in the website, you'll most probably see a link to algebraic long division on it. OK, so all we do then is what do we multiply this x by to give 2x cubed? Well, it's 2x squared. Put that up there. Multiply 2x squared then in the usual way with x minus 1 and put the answer underneath here. So 2x squared times the x gives 2x cubed and 2x squared times minus 1 gives minus 2x squared. What we do next is we subtract to find out the remainder and so we have 2x cubed minus 2x cubed here gives 0. won't bother writing that in though. Then be careful here, minus 3x squared minus minus 2x squared becomes minus 3x squared plus 2x squared, which is minus x squared. Bring the next term down, let's just illustrate that, putting a little arrow there. Bring the next term down, which is minus x, and we start over again. What do you multiply the x by to give minus x squared? Well, that's going to be minus x. Now multiply minus x with x minus 1. And you have minus x times x is minus x squared. Minus x times the minus 1 there is plus x. We now subtract again to find the remainder. Be careful. We have minus x squared minus minus x squared. Well, that's 0. And here we have minus x minus plus x, which is minus 2x. Bring down the next term 
the plus 2 and we start over again. What do you multiply this x by to get minus 2x? Well it's going to be minus 2. Multiply minus 2 now with all of x minus 1 and you get minus 2 times x is minus 2x and minus 2 times the minus 1 is plus 2. You can see that these are absolutely identical now so that when you do subtract them what you end up is zero, zero remainder. So if you approach the problem through this method you could say that therefore since the remainder is zero, we'll just put that in, remainder is zero, therefore x minus one is a factor. So we have two methods then of showing that x minus one is a factor. One uses the factor theorem and the other one uses algebraic long division. But certainly I would prefer this method for a question like this and I would encourage you to do the same as well. Okay, well that brings us to the end of this particular example then.